I feel like... So far, I feel like I've kind of bonded more with Sayori and Itsuki. Most comfortable sharing with Sayori first. She's my good friend after all, exactly. Alright, what poem did I write? This is a good poem. Oh, I didn't actually say it. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. Not that good. I mean, I wrote a poem about, like, uh, nibbling on a picnic and ants and then there was an explosion and they kissed and stuff. It was weird. Coming soon, Pez issue. <laughs> I guess you're right. That's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't take it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you won't write one. Just reminds me of how you really, could, um, really are part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Oh, well, of course. Um, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean it will break my promise. See? Like I said before, Pez. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things like this for new for other people. It's something that you can only really only really good people can do. Oh, thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing this much means to her and all. Yeah, Sayori's name was crossed off there. I'm gonna make sure they get lots of fun here. Okay, that'll be my way of thanking you. I'm gonna be holding on to that then. There is something going on because I'm I'm seeing things get like blocked out very subtly. <laughs> we'll see about that. You, okay. Is this my poem? All right, dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning it makes me feel like you miss me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub my sleep this the sleepy from my eyes. I was worried what it was going to say next, to be honest with you. All right. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me and wish me a rainy day? I, I look above and the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But now I'm but now I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> okay. Sayori. Oh, that's what she wrote. Palm sucks. Don't be mean. This is just a guess, but did you wait until morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. I want breakfast. <laughs> Can't answer a little bit with a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. At least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. I'm so bad at poems, guys. I'm really bad at poems. She wrote her feelings. Oh, yeah. I think she did. It came out nice. I wish I'd have put it. It sounds like just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last time. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late for school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. I understand that. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. I get really cranky if I don't have a um, coffee in the morning. And I get headaches. Her feelings, I want breakfast. I can vibe with it, Alana. I can vibe with it. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, oh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I can look forward to it. All right, we'll read. I reckon let's read to... We're going to read with, to Natsuki. You know what? I, I feel less connected with Monica than anyone else. Suki. All right, well, let's start this thing I don't like. First of all, um... It rereads my poem. Never mind. I don't feel like I'm giving you my opinion. I feel like giving you my opinion. So what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this so we could have a better... Um, be better. Uh, I could have been doing better things. In fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems. That's what you had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Meh. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, it's not like it's that great. Let me show you what a real literature looks like. And then you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying that you liked it? Uh, she retorts and gets caught in her throat. Uh, you're so... You just don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that I don't have to be announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I said that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? <sighs> Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race. Owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. 
But that's about it. Okay. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. They're so bad for you. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all about... Hey, Teddy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Everyone in high school is writing and has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make, you message any, um, make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. <laughs> Dominic with the cheeky poke. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight onto the wordplay. Like if I set it for a rhino at the end and then made it fall flat on purpose, that was bringing out the feeling like in last the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it's um that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad that you learned something. Didn't expect it from the youngest one here, did you? So far, so far, like look, there's just been a lot of reading Mars. I am waiting for things to kind of kick off. I decided to human her with that last comment. I didn't really care how old everyone is, but if Nasuki is feeling proud, then I won't take it away from her. All right, Yuri. Mm-hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. Welcome back, Nancy. A minute passes more than enough for her to finish reading. Sorry, I've got to start speaking. I am, um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I'm just trying to put my thoughts into words. Hold on, okay. This is your first time writing poem, right? Yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be um, after reading through it. Ah, so it's bad. No. Uh, did I raise my voice? I I'm sorry. Uh, she buries her face into her hands. I couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes and we hadn't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, it's just that there were specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And I haven't been through it all myself, but I kind of learned how to pick up on them. In other words, they tend to pick our writing style separate from the topic matter, and then they form to fit the two together. Yeah, damn, Mazzy. We love that mullet, everyone. We all love that gorgeous mullet. Well, oh, Kendall, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. In other words, they tend to pick the writing style separate from the topic. Um, the end result is that both styles and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor it totally changes. That's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that can go into writing even a simple poem. You know what? It's more about just building them and then getting them to work together and probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Azuki can be a little biased though. Bias? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri apologizing herself to me or Nasuki. Do you mind if I could read your poem? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her, which in itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't it supposed to be a literature club? She's got really good handwriting. Um, a ghost under the light. Ugh, man. The, ten uh, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the glow bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced with the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm breathing the air and the present but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. Sorry, I have such a terrible handwriting. What do you mean? I literally just complimented her handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. It took you so long, a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's that's a relief. I also, I like the poem. Even though it's short and it was really descriptive, it wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. She's happy. I'll be honest. It's our first time sharing. I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to, dig di to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh-huh. Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Pez. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Remember the poet that often expresses his own thoughts and feelings and experiences in their work? They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. Lingering here in our last remaining place of comfort, I'm able to let go of the past and soon to be left with nothing. 
That's a lot more song than putting it that way. I haven't even thought about it that way. That's impressive. It's nothing really. It makes me happy that you think of it like that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. All right, time for Monica. Hi, Pez. Having a good time so far? Yeah, uh, good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up new things, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, wanna share your poem with me? Kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Bez. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we need to learn to get past. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm, I like it, Pez. Really? A lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh jeez, no no. It's kind of makes me feel like something that Suki would write. She's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. Uh, if you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Hey? Maybe a long time ago. Um famous for telling me all kinds of stories, just a few simple words. <laughs> Mega me. <laughs> Oh man, his poems can be funny, enduring, and even sad. Um, and sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but you know about them. She just floats me there when she's excited. <laughs> she just, just like a whoop. <laughs> can we express views on the world and apply to anybody? See. So you're saying that Itsuki is um, kind like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it'll be uh, the kind of poem, your kind of poem to explore. Sure, I'll end up making different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable enough doing this though. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way of to find the kind of style that suits you. Monica's got a point. Everyone else uh, might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. Just speak in facts. That's with anything, guys. Be yourself. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, you want me to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident with someone who claims to not be very good. Would I join the literature club? Probably not, Mills. I'm, I'm not really into writing. I am much more of a techie nerdy kind of type. I would probably be more into the gaming side, maybe maybe the anime side. I'm not super into anime, but like I enjoy anime if I'm enjoying the show. Miss Rue, hello, welcome in. How you doing? First time chatting. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Uh, you sound pretty confident, someone who can not be very good. You spend my time on D&D, Skylanders. I can vibe with that. I'll probably join a D&D group as well. Well, that's true, because I have to, I do have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Okay. Hole in a wall. Well, the music changed. Hole in a wall. It wouldn't have been me. See the direction the spark that the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know I wasn't home. I'm here inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like the film left in the sun, but it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of meaningless image. It's just a little hole and it wasn't too bright, it was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices, I realise now, I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. What do you think? That was very, yeah, freeform, definitely. I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. That's okay. It's the kind of style that's gotten pretty popular nowadays. You guys don't think that was a good poem? I thought that was pretty deep. A lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between uh, words and lines. That was fun and lightweight. <laughs> Megami, you've always got legit the perfect thing to say. <laughs> Uh, we put an emphasis on the times between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. Well, I guess you could say that I had some kind of empathy recently, uh, epiphany recently, where I've been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. 
I'm kind of nervous to talk about the D stuff like that because it's kind of like coming on strongly. But maybe after everyone finds friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fix fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and then tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. That's good advice. That's good advice. As if anyone's judging me for my mediocre writing skills, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. It's a, this is the literature club after all. Ah. Well, I guess I ended up getting, well, that's what I get myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper and share their perspective on the poems. I don't, I don't know if this game's 18 or up exactly. Mars, welcome back. As they read in tandem uh, and I watch each of their expressions change, Natsuki's eyebrows furrow with frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Suzuki dismissively returns the poem on her desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Yeah, so, um, Amber, um, I've changed my stream title. So, in the actual title of the stream, it says, First time playing, asterisk, um, confronting content in this game. So, if no one's, no one's done it before, or seen this game before, they are aware that there is some confronting stuff here. It definitely can't be played on TikTok, though. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant... <laughs> the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have a hard time trying to come up with something to say? Thanks, but I didn't really come out with the title. Oh, 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 yeah. Hey, water. Yeah, legit, we watched the trailer on TikTok and we got age-restricted. And it just looks like this. Mm, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Mm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. They already liked it. And Pez did too. So based on that, I will gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. Appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. Yeah, we'll probably do marbles at the end. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something in particular, particularly inspiring. Yep, a mannequin. Hearts, a mannequin. And Pez liked my poem too, you know. Pez liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was very impressed by it. And Suki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize he was so invested by and trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Huh? That's <laughs> the music. That's not what I meant. Uh, you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Pez appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours? Ooh, drive up! Huh, that's not, didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Ugh. No. If I was full of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh. Now things are getting interesting. Ooh, um, is everyone okay? But you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a bigger size as soon as Pez started showing up. Oh! Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me and they noticed I was just standing there. Pez! She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump to the reader and not force them to have to figure it out. Now things are getting interesting. Help me explain this to her, Pez. Wait, there's a reason that we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and not meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is only unnecessarily limiting yourself, so it's only a waste. You understand that, right, Pez? Um... Well? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they're probably more likely thinking more highly of me. Oh. 
I'm gonna say help me Sayori because I don't want to get in the middle of this. Help me Sayori. Natsuki. Glaze up. Glaze me drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri. The Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori. Huh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting and, and making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Ez? Well, that's not. That's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It isn't fair for others to interject their own feelings into the conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what, stuck up, what a stuck-up jerk she's been. She would never. That's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why nobody likes- STOP! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want to make sure everyone gets along and is happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because they are of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with so, such few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone is so talented. So why are we fighting? But be because, well, also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. <laughs> Sayori. Sayori stands up triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki slides down with a bank expression on face, staring at nothing. But this is why Sayori is vice president. I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, it's kind of embarrassing for me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess it just means Sayori is amazing in her own way, isn't she? I guess you could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate for her to get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me and causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president regardless of what she says. If only we could get a chance to talk to her a little- Okay everyone, it's just about that time for us to leave. How'd you all feel about sharing the poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Pez, what about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing for us to try with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. And your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, did I learn a little bit more of the kinds of poems everyone likes? With any luck, that means at least I could do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. Pez! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hee <laughs> Sarah beams at me. It's really been a while since Sarah and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sarah, about what happened earlier. Huh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Atsuki, does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. It's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? No, 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 I don't hate them. I just wanted to know your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Ugh. You know, Pez, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. <laughs> oh, Mars. <laughs> but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on what kind of situation I'm in. The Pez Maniacs. <laughs> he is the best streamer on his channel after Titus. Yeah, Titus is definitely a much better streamer than I am. <laughs> he will always be number one. Uh, sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? I guess we'll see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her. It's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this.
Pytus is actually him. He's a beautiful boy. Okay, so... When they... How do I know who's who then? It's all the same color. The sweep? Um... So I guess, like, so this is how I choose how I want to, like, who I want to get closer with, right? I feel like Sayori and the main character just seem to have, like, much more of a connection. Sayori paints pictures in her head. Yes. Choose artsy stuff? Or Yuri paints pictures in her head. It's interesting that Monica's not on this. You'd think Monica would be here too, right? Uh, rain cloud. It's kind of like hard to know. Heart. Oh, three in the row for her. Um, a tone. Tone, okay. Definitely not selecting suicide. Um, candy. Mm -hmm. We don't need Monica. Um, clumsy. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> um, laugh. Um, I'm just gonna select words that kind of hey, with the cheeky pokes. I, I I'm gonna select words that kind of like I'm drawn to. So I'm gonna say um, bunny. Um, happiness. Um, let's see. Wonderful. Um, universe. Determination. Awesome. Um, let's see. Charm. Heaven set, that's a word. That's a word. Um... Marshmallow. <laughs> Poof. Um, I'm going to say spinning. Sunset. Nightgown because it's cozy. And... Fireflies. Alright. Alright, let's see what happens. Hopefully a bit more drama, maybe. Time for the club meeting. Gotten a little bit more comfortable over here in the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Pez. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you got a good mood today. Yeah. I'm just um, not used to seeing you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing for you to get into a good mood. Hopefully they fight. <laughs> but I guess it's always the simple things that get with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No, thanks. Huh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Huh? Why is that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Nah. Retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Turns it upside down, lets the contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins <laughs> fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. Not fair. How did you even know? Simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you wouldn't have brought a snack. Um, you would have bought a snack before coming into the club room. Either you're not, you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money and then I'll lend you some. There's one more thing. You're always hungry. And if that leaves only one option. Ah! I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> and now it's getting cold in here. She's a gold digger. Yuri suddenly um, giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, I wasn't listening or anything. I was just something in my book. Yuri. Help Pez to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved in something like that, Sayori. Besides... <coughs> Miller's... <laughs> you should uh, only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough for retribution. Nah, did I just... I didn't mean that. 
I got too absorbed into my book. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and the text said "oh," and then and then Mazzy the "oh" <laughs> noise played. I thought it was in the game. I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. Doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's no way. What's it? No way you could think like that. You were right though. Hey. <laughs> Cheeky pokes. I, I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution? That. Still. Coming from you, Sayori. Guess there's a little devil inside all of this, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys that she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But you wouldn't have come if you weren't if it weren't for the cupcakes. I tried to trick Nasuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> what? Yeah! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and stumbles onto the desk. Ow! That was, huh? A cookie? Sure enough, a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is that, is this a miracle? Because I, I paid for my restitution. Retribution. Actually, it's just the one that almost worked. Eh. Megami with the cheeky pugs. <laughs> 